Alrighty then, <laughs> here's my team, Riggs, Perry, and Max. Let's see if this pans out. I have to deal with Max and Isaac. Books, I guess, is optional. Okay, gang, rise and shine! Computer, snooze! I... Hey! I've done an alarm clock! Does anyone have the admin password to this ship computer? My name is Cat! You should remember, you created me! Oh, yeah! Also, uh, where am I? Time loop? Ah! And why do I have fingerless gloves? Oh, that's right, I'm a cool hacker guy! <laughs> Attack! Damn it, Max! You know, you know, I expected this dialect to go places, to go different places, but no, I didn't expect for Max to actually be the guy who has created Cat. Sheesh. And then he has completely forgotten about it instead of, you know, just being a proud creator. Ah, yes, this is my no. Hold on. If this is your leftmost card, well, then you play it for free and then you exhaust it. But... But uh, but when you play it, hold on. No, hold on. If it's your leftmost card and you play it, then you look at your hand. Okay, which card is the leftmost in my hand? Oh, this one, the one that used to be to the right of this. And then that gets played, right? I'm going to test that out, I think. Oh, yeah, and if I'm wrong, I think I'm going to die. Well, at least it's gonna be bright and early. Well, I'm not gonna die immediately. Check this out, basic block, and then we play admin deploy. If my hypothesis is correct... Bypass. I'm sorry, what? Bypass. Play a card at no energy cost. Yeah. So my idea is if you play this, you get basic dart for free. Not that that's a smart idea, mind you, because... Then I won't be able to find. Let's play scramble and just uh, shuffle to the side. You dodge and then admin deploy scramble. Oh, shielding! I don't want shielding. Get rid of the corrupted call. Pew pew, and end the turn. It has entered power drive. I say multi shot. Into jaw shot, into lunge. Almost! Okay, that was pretty stupid. Fine. But we move to the side. Wow, we should armor the whole ship! I've heard this suggestion multiple times by now. Yay, good one! Yes, Max. <sighs> pew, pew, and shunt off to the side. Pew, pew. Got him. I guess we can lunge. Oh, this is so pointless. Eh. Basic block, why not? Get a basic dodge. <laughs> Play the leftmost. Wait, that's horrible. The leftmost card is Toggle Cannon. Oh no. Well, I guess I have to toggle the cannon every single time to be able to use admin deploy properly. Wait, that what? Oh, I haven't. I. Oh. Right, I wasn't paying enough attention. I was like, oh. Is anyone there? Oh, I, I forgot to move out of the way. Well, that was a... That's what I get. That is indeed what I get. But you know what? Might be for the best, because uh, Ares might not be the best thing to play in under those sorts of circumstances. Should we go with the Tide Runner? I don't know. The Tide Runner ultimately has a card. The Anchor. Oh, hold on, hold on. The anchor is added to my draw pile.
Wait a minute. So you ordinarily move unless you draw the anchor. Well, we might as well uh, try to play this. Where's the cockpit? Uh, on the left side. Let's give this stupid thing a go. Let's see what happens. Cut with corruption. Must be out power. Uh, lose. Uh, do we want to lose max shields? Uh, wh what the hell? Hold on. Two out of four points of hull and max three points of shielding. Oh, this is. Looks too much point, points of what will be down to two. Uh, do we want to gain debris? Uh, oh, this is all bad. F uh, uh, gain debris. Please select boot option. Upgrade a card. Gain one random rail card or remove a card. Gain one of company card. Give me a rail card. Save state. One. Save your current position to a load state. Oh. Load state. Move to while well, you use uh, save state. That's fascinating. You can save, say, on the left. Then kablamo, you move to the right. And then eventually, bam, you're on the left again. Incredible. Adds a card to your hand. Okay, fair enough. That's not really noted over here. But I presume when you play save state. You get load state? What? In your hand? Oh, when you retain it? Fair enough. Ding, ding, ding! Wakey, wakey! Hey, cat, can we talk in private? Huh? Before the loop, I don't remember you being this uh, smart. Me neither. I was looking through your files. Rude. What's in memory bank uh, OXF3? I don't know. When I try to look inside, things get kind of hazy. Anyways, I, I should still have your root password. I could delete that file for you. Do not delete the file. Whoa, all right, sorry. Sorry. It's okay. I'm programmed to help the crew. If you think this will help, next time we'll near a high energy power source, we can try. Just... Please don't deactivate me. I won't. <laughs> there is... Uh, hostile vessel detected. There's something going on with Cat. And that's something that has occurred to me as well. You, every single time we get to the Cobalt, Cat uploads over there. And then afterwards, we ultimately start the loop again. There's something within the ship's computer. Quite possibly under, under F3. Boy, cat, does, cat doesn't have a lot of memory. That's it. I really don't want to exhaust multi-shot. It makes very much no sense to admin deploy this. After all, it costs one. Oh, yes, this is marked as the leftmost card. Thank you. This is marked as the rightmost card. You know, I understand. Oh, no, 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 not only that. This moves me to the left. Your horror. Uh, do we save here? Uh, sure. Your horror. We move to the side. Ho 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 ho. Ho 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 ho. And then we shoot. <laughs> We've evaded fully. Oh boy. Dang. We couldn't save him. Hello? Is this thing working? Hey, he's alive! If you're watching this, hello, and welcome to my video, Will. Ah, uh, let's keep going. <laughs> I'm so done with this stupid ship. No, seriously, I... Uh, abandon the run. Three, two, one. Wake up! Look, I'm sorry, all right? I'm glad, though, that there's uh, a safety measure that uh, tries to save you from accidentally abandoning a run. But my goodness, the tide runner is annoying. I understand the principle, but it really doesn't work well with Max. In general, I get the impression that if you pull a thing that sounds roughly similar to a guy, things go awry because you're fighting against yourself so 
if you go for the Jupiter with Isaac, on one hand, the Jupiter by itself has to deploy missiles, and then there's Isaac, who's based around deploying missiles. It's too many missiles. Sure, they can combo well to some extent, but uh, it also might be a problem. Ditto with Max and the Tide Runner. Max already moves you, depending on which cards you play. And then... Does he? No, he's got effects that depend on playing cards on the edges. But then there's also the Tide Runner that moves to a given side depending on which cards you play. So if you have a max effect that says you're supposed to play the leftmost card and you forget that you have an unmoved Tide Runner, you're gonna move to the left, which may whiff all sorts of things down the line. It's just not worth the hassle. Not that the Tide Runner is bad, I absolutely am willing to play it, but not with max. Not that you can't play that with Max, it's just such a huge cognitive burden. Now with the Ares, this, this might also be an issue because you get a card with Ares on the left side so you can flip the cannon. So I guess I'll play it relatively safe and go with the Artemis? Let's roll with that. Here's an elite. What's up, nerds? Trying to save the universe, I think. How tedious. Drake, you suck. You're the cause of all of this, you know. Don't embarrass yourself. Damn it, Drake. Damn you, Drake. I say demon thrusters. Alright, cat. The others are busy for a moment. Let's do this. Okay, I'm ready. Transfer file OXF3 to offline storage. Okay, okay. Fair enough. So we're taking it from... Access denied. Username root. Password, password, one, two, three. Thanks, Max. Classic I File transfer starting. Okay, okay. He's provided his root password. Everything is complete. It wasn't because something bizarre has happened. You have a computer system. You play by the rules, you get the desired effect. Yeah, file has been transferred. All right, I've got the file. How do you feel? Invalid file name all command. Cat? Invalid file name all command. Oh no, cat? Are you in there? What's the command? Show personality call info. Personality call not found. Copy the, f copy the file OXF3 back to main storage. Rebooting personality call. Hey, what did I miss? Uh, I tried to get the file, but I guess I forgot my password. Oh, well, we tried. Now, at the risk... <laughs> risk. Stating the obvious, that's not what happened. <laughs> we can't really mess with it. It's central to cat's functioning. So we can't really just delete it. But something has gone horribly wrong over there. Or has it? It might be the crystalline entity essentially cannibalizing that. These thrusters are pretty intense! So, it may not necessarily be bad. And that, that magnificent evolved entity could be cat. You know, after possibly thousands of years and however many cycles of being trapped inside the derelict spaceship, in a time loop. For all we know, all of this is about Cat desperately trying to... break the cycle. Let's roll with that. Let's play it safe. Hey Riggs! It's, uh, you! Alright, here we go again with this. You good? I need you operating at peak performance. Hell yeah, baby! Cat, you've seen this happen before, haven't you? Have we rebooted you or something? I mean, of course Riggs is fine with this. Because we know what sort of person Riggs is like. Actually. Deep down inside. I'm not sure if there's a limit. Any sort of limit. There might be. We want to go for two elites, so we're going down the path up, of course. So let's fight a regular enemy. Might attack you guys for piracy reasons this time. Trying that out. You're a pirate too? I'm trying it out! I just said that! You're just looking for an excuse, aren't you, Dylan? That's all you're doing over here. 
Wow, cool. Cat, I wasn't completely honest with you earlier. Yeah, I kind of figured. File OXF3. I got a copy of it. I think it is you. I don't understand. When I moved the file, you were gone. Huh. I kept a copy of it. The file's timestamp says it was written at the exact moment all these loops started. What do you think it means? I have absolutely no idea. Well, we've all been affected by the loop in some capacity. Perhaps Cat has been affected in a strange way. Alright, well, I have a cobalt to upload myself to. Wait, before you go, your password is password123. Max, thank you. Wait, my password is password123? You promised you wouldn't be mad. <laughs> No, I didn't! <laughs> Let's run some circles around. On one hand, it's an incredible sign of trust. You're essentially giving Max access to itself. A cat, you're giving cat access to itself, but yes. Which could cause all sorts of disasters. Especially since, you know, this is arguably the most powerful entity, etc. But on the other hand... Well, on the other hand, yeah, that's a pathetic password. What are you people doing? Are you insane? We get a refund, so we are gonna... Oh, hold on, this is the acid cannon! Oh. Oh, this is cannon, you say? So, pew. Disable that stupid intention. This is the brittle part! It's not almond, it's brittle! <laughs> Full steam ahead! Keep firing, assholes! We are going to survive. For now. We use momentum and move. That's nine. This is one. It's three, eight. It's eight plus one. We're not gonna survive. This is it. It's exactly full. Is anyone there? Oh. Should I have not applied more corrosion? Maybe I should have uh, thinned out my deck some more. You know, losing those max points of haul just to be able to get more corrosion might have been a particularly dumb idea. 30 points of haul damage taken. The Artemis is... Interesting to navigate, I guess. <sighs> I know that there's this whole issue with the leftmost card and so on. I could have done it on that ship as well, but I think I'll be much more comfortable playing the Ares. I know how we play Ares. Although, if I want to shield things, if I want this comp, I think I'm going to need the Artemis. <sighs> tough choice, tough choice. All right, let's do this once again. I love where the plot is going, but I just need to work on, you know, actually getting through the mission. Gotta play it a smidgen more safe, I guess. I'm taking all those risks. Some of them are just stupid. I know that on higher difficulty levels, in these sorts of games, you're supposed to take risks, but I'm overdoing it. Take the debris. Boot option. Upgrade to MCAS to B. Pick from three uncommon cards. Or gain three max hole. Max hole! Yes! 8 out of 12! And this is what we'll focus on. Max, wake up! Huh? I want you to know I used the password you gave me. I've been analyzing my source code. And I think I finally know what I am. Yeah? Yes. Well, what are you? I can't tell you yet. Okay. But I know what I need to do. Is it gonna be cool? Extremely sick. <laughs> Dog required. Well, 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 there we have it. Cat has discovered that it presumably is this entity out there, awakened by the crystal. I think. No. My dear cat. 
Did you like build this? I've had a lot of free time. Oh, that's that's so so sad. I'm sorry. Okay, evasive shot. We have to move at least the cockpit out of the way. At least the cockpit. It's 21 points of damage. Yeah, and it's not impossible to survive that, as difficult as it may be in the end. <sighs> Enrage is a one-time thing, unless I have a card in my deck that will allow me to replay it, which I don't. Oh, now it suddenly sounds like a good idea, huh? Nice one! One, two, three. <laughs> Hello? Damn it! I've spent so much time on prepping this nonsense. And yet, despite my sincerest efforts, it didn't pay off. The buried relic buried me. Of course it did. The buried relic tends to be a problem for ships that do not happen to be Ares. Because Artemis is just too fat. Yeah, unless I get the right artifact. If I get the artifact that allows me to fold the wings, then I have a chance, I guess. I also did ultimately reshuffle the parts, though that did not play that much of a part in it. That wasn't the problem. It's not like I was getting hit on the cockpit. The problem was that the entire ship was too fat and I could not veer off to the side quickly enough to just evade the Colossus. Yeah, in hindsight, I presume it should have taken some more damage and uh, stunned it at the last possible second to barely survive. It's a really rough encounter when, with... Um... In certain cases, it's a really rough encounter. Mostly, if your deck is slow, like this one inevitably is. Yeah. So yes, clearly the Colossus, or whatever, the Buried Relic, is going to be the bane of my existence on this particular deck. Then again, I did discover quite a few cards for Max, so I will never have to pick them up again, unless I want to. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe I... <sighs> we're not losing Max shields, we're not losing hope, we're gaining debris. Please select good option. Remove a card, gain a common card, gain a common artifact, or replace warp prep. You know, replacing debris isn't the worst of ideas. Fine, remove a card, the debris in particular, and replace it with something. What well, juke stun charge or system security? System security sticks with you. In case of emergency break glass, you get three points of shields in practice. But stun charge could prove to be quite useful. Yeah, but you have to draw it first. How about juke? Uh. We need other sources of evasion. Fine. System security is what I'm rolling with. Weapons active. Alright, then I just need to shield the tiniest of bits. Tell you what, block shot to shield that tiny bit, to draw shot to get some more cards. And then I say basic shot to add to that. Holes untouched. Excellent. Basic shot. Basic shot. Get rid of the corrupted call. Oh, that one too. It's a block shot. Give me two points of shields, excellent. And more evasion. We dissipate on temporary shields. No damage, ah, draw shot. Basic shot, basic shot. Is this the end? Because it could be. Four points of damage coming my way. Well. Block shot. 
And system security? Yeah, I guess I need to do that, otherwise I uh, am not gonna have a good time. Alright, now is the time to deal damage. Jaw shot. And what? I'd say scramble for evasion. Block shot. Basic shot. Basic shot. Step away. Step back in. Do we want to exhaust the security system? That's a bad idea. Gain evasion. Block shot. And gain more shields. Alright, uh, it hasn't moved to reacquire me. That's good. I would say pew, pew, pew. And step to the side. The alternative was to gain more evasion, but I think this will have to do. Move. Pew, pew. Cicada down. Juke draw shot or reroll. Let's say draw shot. I need to upgrade those, don't we? Speaking of upgrades, uh, the path of most elites leads through here, and we can get two upgrade opportunities. What do I want to upgrade? I guess draw shots, so that they deal more damage. Drawing cards is nice, but uh, we need some damage dealing. And two points of damage on a one-cost card is brilliant. How's the ship running? Ah, as good as can be expected. By which I mean bad! Can I get you anything? Yes, I would like to upgrade a card. I could upgrade oh so many other things, like scramble, so that it gives me three evades. That's quite useful. But no, I would say draw shot, so it deals two points of damage. Oh, in the short term, this is gonna be such a blessing. Ooh, we go one up. Oh no, let's take the bottom enemy. I don't know which is which, so... Uh, I mean, who cares? One shield, alright. Basic shot... Actually, fine, exhaust it. And use it. Okay, maybe I'm at point was the best. Uh, you know what? That's, that's such a good point. That's such a horribly good point. Ugh. Fine, shield surge, reroll, whatever. Hell's untouched. Great. Get off the corrupted call and scramble out of the way. Two points of damage coming our way. I say draw shot first. Gosh. Then block shot. Then draw shot again. We get nothing for cycling, which is unfortunate. We should get an artifact that gives us something for cycling. No damage, huh? Well, I say just get out of the way and shield up. Bye. Three points of damage headed our way. Block shot. I'll try to move around the armor next. Ah, damn it. Fine, in that case, shield surge and gain evasion. Gotta pay attention to what's actually going on over there. No damage, huh? <sighs> Can't really move that much. Fine, draw shot to destroy that. Move slightly to the side. Draw shot to. Dish out the damage. Got him. And shield them up with the surge. I just gotta pay attention to what's going on over here. Not a scratch. Oh, this is rather unfortunate. Fine, play this for free and exhaust it. Get play this, play that. And we have shielded up enough to live through this bit of damage. Holes untouched. Excellent. Draw shot. Draw shot. Into basic shot. Ace, scramble, or spacer. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna say no to ace, am I? Should upgrade that to ace B post haste. Could get another upgrade. <sighs> yes, and one fewer boss. That means fewer artifacts. Yes, but it uh, means more upgrades, and upgrades are what we need. So I can upgrade that ace, or cut a card, or upgrade draw shot. The world's my oyster. Yes, let's do that. Saltations. What are saltations? Can I get you anything? Yes, I would like to upgrade a card. I believe I would like to upgrade the ace to ace B. Nice. 
Let's fight a regular enemy. It's the janitor bot. Intent producing backup. All right, shield up. Shoot this. Hey, line us up with that weak point. I'll try. That's not gonna be particularly easy. Shield up. Nope. It's full points of damage coming away. We can outshield that. Fine, draw shot to destroy that and draw. Shield it up. Draw shot. I guess we could have aced, but whatever. Oh no. Revenge and come. Yikes! As long as we don't retaliate, we'll be fine. We can also scramble out of the way. Yeah, I say get rid of the corrupted call, scramble. That missed. Ace B. And move. A weak point is gonna get hit on them. Excellent. Assignment destroy robots in sector. Maybe go find some robots then. Pew. Pew. That'll do. That'll do. No damage. Ha! We move on over here. Basic shot. Basic shot. <laughs> nice. And we gain evasion. Just to play it safe. Two. Fall. Good work. Draw shot. Draw shot. And block shot. It's gonna get blasted by its own drones. Admin deploy strafe or stun charge. We can't really deploy strafe now, can we? Though no, it combos well with ace. Actually, we can. We can with admin deploy. Yes, but uh, not if we don't take it. Okay, admin deploy works for ace, works for strafe. Let's take strafe. Not fact. Cockpit lock on. Unfortunately, the final boss doesn't have a cock with all. Nanofiber hole to keep on healing. Let's roll with that. Let's dance. Oh no, not you, Drake. Not you again. Don't embarrass yourself. Damn you. Well, well. Get ready for the heat. First three roll. Shield up. And do nothing else. We are not destroying the medias. They are protecting us. Not a scratch. Shield up. Scramble. Move. Get rid of the corrupted call. Play security system. Ugh. I have to have the card as the leftmost, which is not gonna happen anytime soon. Fine, playing security system just to get those permanent shields. Ace B. Strafe is over here on the left, but unfortunately I don't have the card that uh, would allow me to play it properly. Fine, we're not fleeing any further. And we are acquiring some heat. Alas, alas. Holes untouched, yeah, for now. Pew, pew. Alright. Gain evasion. Shield up. Pff, bye. Bye. 
One, two, one, two, three. Yes, the wing will not be able to get away. Which means we'll overheat. Well, if we can't get away, we shouldn't even bother trying to get away. Oh, ew, my gloves are getting all sticky in the heat. Sorry, Max. Draw shot. Hey, good one. Not a draw shot. Admin deploy the strafe. And move out of the way. One point of full damage taken. Slow and steady. You say that, but... Scramble. Basic dodge. Move. What am I even supposed to do here? Draw shot. That's not a problem, right? Oh, well, <laughs> amazing. Fine. Just get more evades. Pew, pew, pew. One, two, three, four, five. Just strafe it to death. Juke, pulse barrier, or clean exhaust. Oh, clean exhaust is so awesome, as long as you can actually play it. We should probably just get clean exhaust A. And that thing that gives you a refund when you play something that costs three. Yeah, we're taking clean exhaust. We can shape paddle or the regenerator. I want those shields. We should deal with missiles in some capacity, but I want those shields. That's pretty. Surviving is also our way of dealing with things. Hey, your ship looks messed up. Let me fix you up real quick. I'm offering two types of repels right now. Regular and extra spicy. Give me the extra spicy one. Yeah, okay, all done. Bye, bye. How's the ship running? Yeah, as good as can be expected. By which I mean bad. Can I get you anything? I'm tempted to take strafe B. It is expensive, but it deals two points of damage every single move. Works well with Ace. Though, upgrading clean exhaust might be a priority. Because so far, unless I manage to play it with admin deploy, I can't play it. So it might be worth it. Yes, to just get clean exhaust A. With clean exhaust A, I get a free strafe, free Ace. Free corrupted call and free trash, yes. Maybe I should make this strafe deal two points of damage. It's a risky maneuver, but I'm willing to take that risk. Neat! Big crystal. Big? Yeah, that's the main thing about it. <clears throat> Shunt on over to the side. Now we'll save block shot. Rad. Gain evasion just to be on the safe side. And get off the corrupted call so we don't have to ever see its ugly mug again. Figuratively speaking, of course. Holes untouched. Great. We can't play strafe, all of all that, yeah. We basically can't play anything, but we're not receiving any damage this turn, which is great. We need the ace. We can get the ace, although we are going to sustain hull damage if we do that. Play security system, then admin deploy ace B. Ah, on the other hand, we can play security system right here, right now. Yes, up to which point you admin deploy ace B. It's as simple as that. Draw shot. Yes, direct hit. Could have admin deployed the ace, I guess. Thank you. Not late for regrets. I could re-roll into draw shot. It's getting off the leftmost side, leftmost card though. That seems like a reasonable idea. So there's nothing stuck though. No damage, huh? Ad admin deploy the strafe, and then what? What about the ace? Well, forget about the ace. Admin deploy the strafe first. <sighs> 
Shield and up. Gain more evasion. Yeah, shoot into oblivion and just take one point of temporary damage. Not a scratch. Security system to shield and up into a basic shot. We don't desperately need the ace, but we want the ace. Pew. Draw shot. Into reroll. Into block shot. Good one. Yahoo! Okay, six points of damage is a bit much. I say ace now. And dissipate that single point of damage on the shields. Remember, the strafe deals two points of damage now. No damage, ha. Huh. We can secure the system and admin deploy the clean exhaust. Yeah, are there any exhaustible cards left in this deck? Not at all, but at least we can get rid of that card. I'm up for it, let's do it. On target. We're wearing them out. Yes, we are. One point of damage incoming. That's not much. Draw shot. Block shot. Basic shot. Stupid basic shots. Aside from moving around, are our primary way of dealing damage. Pathetic. One. Two, three. I guess this is where we will stay. It's a nice and cozy place. Sure, six points of damage are coming our way, but only one will make it to the hole. That wasn't so bad. Pew, pew, pew. Alright, we're almost done. Shield up. Not a scratch. Down goes the crystalline entity. We heal on up. All the way up to 12 out of 12. Stansel's ace or the hand cannon. You know, considering all those synergies, we might as well take the stansels. Yeah, and we're presumably going to admin deploy it rather than, you know, just uh, playing it via whatever that was called, the exhaust? Clean exhaust. We could also take the hand cannon. We kind of might need it as a finisher. Taking a second ace is just superfluous. Is it? We can gain two evades a turn. I would not regret that with the strafe. Also, that stun charge would not be half bad either. Ah, oh, the hand cannon is tempting. Now we're taking the stun souls. Lightspeed boot disc. Hmm. Draw one extra card, gain one extra point of energy. So four points of energy when starting out. What do I want to play for four, four points of energy? The clean, ex the, the exhaust cleaning thing. Obviously. Now it's not as obvious as it may seem, I guess. We would like to stay shielded up. <sighs> not sustain whole damage immediately. Yeah, if only we could draw into into admin deploy. Oh, that would be great, wouldn't it? So we could admin deploy clean exhaust. It's right there. Okay, let's let's roll with that rather than you know taking unnecessary damage. No, no admin deploy. I'm afraid. 
Well, we are going to veer off to the side anyway. And then gain more evasion. There goes the clean exhaust. Or the exhaust cleaning, whatever. Draw shot. Gave me shields. Uh, here's Ace that I can't play. Oh boy. I got myself into this mess. Here's Admin Deploy. Hold on! Think, Vestin, think! Admin Deploy into getting the Ace! Thank you! Awesome! I could hypothetically dodge this, but let's not. So far we can take this. Holes untouched. Excellent. I say, gain more evasion. Fire twice. Get out of the way. Here's admin deploy, yeah. But, hold on, hold on. I say secret system and then admin deploy a strafe. Nice shot. And we move out of the way. You have the corrupted call. Scramble. And move to the side. Draw shot that deals two points of damage. Sweet. Now a draw shot. And a basic shot. Hold on. Pew, pew, and we kill it. The evades are effectively two points of damage each. Ooh, cloud save. EMP or the acid cannon. Let's roll with the acid cannon. Deal the damage and survive. Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades! Instead of going for the elites. I don't know, having more artifacts seems nice. As opposed to what? Cutting cards? No, we should absolutely cut cards. Let's uh, let's cut cards from this deck. Get down to as few cards as possible. Mostly we need to get rid of the basic blocks. So we're going down through here. Oh, look, it's Spike. Oh, God, I just sharpened my harpoons. Damn it, Spiky boy. Stop this nonsense. Okay, fine. This is the idea. Here's the idea. Clean exhaust into... That's what our batteries are for. Into free strafe B. Into unfortunately blasting this. Shields dissipate that single point of damage. And the oxygen leak becomes a problem. But other than that, we're fine. Ready or not. We're a lot more ready since you warned us. Should have thought of that. I can acid cannon, but then I will be unable to shield against this. I'd say... Draw shot. Give the corrupted code for free. Shield surge. Basic shot. Yeah, the one I wanted to get rid of. And still do, I guess. No damage! Ha! Huh. Ace. And now, well, Stun Souls doesn't actually start stunning until you get the stun. That's not how things work, unfortunately. Admin deploy system security to just get rid of it? Ah, fine. Ooh, keep it up. Not a scratch. Oh boy, this is nasty. Holes untouched! <laughs> yeah, for now. How many times will I say that? As many as I need to.
Pew, disable that. Hey, good one. Shield up. Basic shot. No damage, ha. Huh. Pew, disable that immediately. No more of those shenanigans. Draw shot. Bang. Haha. <laughs> Block shot. Basic shot. I know I'm not gaining evasion, but... Pew. Kapow, easy damage. I would say scramble and spend that energy on dealing damage. Admin deploy, the scramble. Right, left, down goes spiky. Charge beam. See, this is a brilliant card for lean decks. Instead of deflection and shield surge, which are awesome, I'm gonna take the charge beam and then I'm going to cut as many cards as I possibly can. Howdy, hi, can I get you anything? Had I gone for the elites, I might have gotten the artifact that allows us to cut two cards. But whatever. Remove a card, remove the basic shot. Voila. Hi, Rider. Ah, fast. No, you! Clean exhaust. Stun souls. And. Pew to disable this. Move to the side. Oh no, the energy has been sapped from us. Ace, B. And a security system, I guess. All right, we'll dissipate the damage on our temporary shield. Well, and one not so temporary shield, I guess. Strafe, used up. Corrupted call. Disposed of. Block shot to destroy this. Moving, pew. More evasion. And this. Can we do anything? No, we're out of cards. We haven't applied uh, the acid yet, though, so we can't do much. You know what, that might have been particularly little advice. Yeah, lining these things up, oh, that's gonna cost us plenty in terms of whole damage. That's, a, that's going to be six whopping points of damage. I thought I had more evades than I did. Oh boy. Race for damage. I spilled Riggs' as old Boba! <sighs> Alright, the Nine of Fibers aren't gonna hold up with that. And now we surge. Pew, disable this. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and now we have to shield up. We're mostly dealing damage via strafe. You know what? Hold on, I forgot. I, uh, I need to pay attention. I can bash it up later. Well, I mean, we'll live as long as I actually, you know, start paying attention. Charge beam costs nothing because it's unexhaustible. We can deal two points of damage more by moving, so that's eight. Plus two, that's ten. Okay, so that's lethal, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mistakes were made, but yeah, we'll live, we'll live. Thankfully, nano fibers are gonna heal some of this stuff up. Seven out of twelve. Lazy barrage, reroute, or admin deploy. We should take Lazy Barrage B if we want to. 
Actually, <laughs> coupled with strafe, lazy barrage is gonna deal so much. Actually, no, 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 hold on, hold on. This doesn't move us. We'd have to upgrade lazy barrage to lazy barrage B to actually dish out the damage from that. Otherwise, we're just gonna shoot for the damage in the regular old fashioned way. Uh, we could try to reroute. To play cast to get out of the way. Or we could just refuse to take any of this nonsense and uh, proceed as usual. I say take nothing. Meowdy! Everyone, please. Can I get you anything? Yeah, let's remove a card. Another basic shot down the drain. Ta-da! Hold on, I did, why did I take the path down? Ah, whatever, we're, we're avoiding an elite, which is still fine. Rebound Reagent. Once per combat, when you lose hull, immediately heal one. All gain one energy every third turn. The overclocked generator. Let's roll with that. We've skipped an elite, but that's okay. Smile for the radical. Okay. No. <laughs> Clean exhaust. Sheesh, that drained a lot of power. Lizzie, it's all fine. We get rid of the corrupted call. We ace. And we zip, zip, zip out of the way. See ya, suckers. Stun souls. We move out of the way. Shield on up. Oh, yeah, and right, of course. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Should have dished out that damage, but I didn't. Shoot first, think, rest and think. Very glad that overclocking the generator didn't explode it. Yeah, same here. Strafe activated. Look at all those buffs we have. Look at all the buffs. Look at them! That is a lot of buffs you've got. Though. Well done. Now, the problem is, of course, that we will not necessarily be able to move away from this rocket. Uh, so we'll move into it, I say. Apply the acid and move into the rocket to disable it. Stay defensive. I always am. We're going to slay it with strife. Ah, it's a Sika. Use two points of damage. Fine. We'll beef up our defenses. This is gonna apply a status. Fine. And we'll not roll with that. We'll move out of the way. It's fine. That was just a strafe shot anyway. Correct. Gain more evasion, please. More evasion, that's a primary source of damage dealing right now. Nice one. This is armored though. Bah, fine. I'm shielding up and moving out of the way. All good, all good. Once again, gotta... I shouldn't rush things. Acid cannon. We just need to stall. Uh, not necessarily. You know, basic dodge is gonna do much more than block shot. Check this out. We move here, destroy the rocket, move the, move again. Bam. Yeah, every single source of evades is basically a source of two points of damage. Pew, we move in. This is armored, I know. We use draw shot to do one point of damage. Despite the damage dissipation via the armor, we're still fine. Panic, spacer, or the MP. Oh, sorry, that's spacer A. It grants us a temporary shield on the spot. Well, well, well. It's unexhaustible, so it's not that bad. We might as well just play it. Hold on, the MP is exhaustible. It takes our shields down to zero, that's true. But if we manage to play clean exhaust. We can play that for free at the end of the turn. 
de-shielding ourselves entirely, but then again disabling the enemy intentions, possibly saving our bacon in the process. The acid cannon is nice because it allows us to repeatedly reapply acid. Sure, you have to aim, you have to actually be able to hit that, but you might be able to do it. We actually need an artifact that grants us more evade at the start. Anything that grants us evade is a blessing at this point. I don't think I want the MP. I think I'm just gonna skip all of this. Another regular enemy. It's Newt. Clean exhaust. Stun souls. Just move to the side to take one point of hull damage instead of two. Hey, perfect! Then I have five. I have something to do now. Yes. Strafe. Ace. Hold on, the first shot will stun, so might as well basic shot this. Pew, disable that. Strafe on him. We no longer have the stun active, so never mind that. Might as well shield up as much as we can in those permanent shields. Our next, our next shot, the stun shot, is gonna hit the rocket, pretty much no matter what. We might as well disable this, I guess. Fine, draw shot that. Pew, scramble. Pew, pew. I know this got dissipated, it's still worth it. We don't want to take any unnecessary damage. I know we've got those shields. We'd better not use them unnecessarily. Scramble. Pew. Pew. Strafing feels pretty optimal. We should do this all the time. <laughs> yes, we absolutely should. <laughs> Six points. Charge beam. Pew. <laughs> Just move. You know, strafing for two is absolutely brilliant. It also seems completely broken, but I like it. We just need a source of evasion. That's it. Evasion source. Reroll big gilet or boost capacitors. Tempting, but I'm actually going to skip this in favor of cutting cards. Hey, bud. Yo, can I get you anything? I think we're going to cut out the final basic shot. That way we never have to worry about that ever again. Remove a card, basic shot, away it goes. Hope you didn't need that. Likewise, actually. Nothing to say, huh? Fair enough. Clean exhaust. Gain evasion. And turn. As long as we are at liberty to play that card at the start, smooth sailing from the stun saws. Yeah, we're gonna get pounded by that. It's fine. Uh, who cares? Need little pounding. You have the corrupted call. Admin deploy on that would be terrible, so let's not do that. Shield up as much as possible and prepare for fisting. Straight B, Ace B, Basic Dodge. And security system. Pew, pew. Strafe on him. Three to the left. So this ends up one, two, three. Alright. Fist me. And we moved, so that caused us to shoot. No hit, that's fine. Pew. Draw shot. Rad. The acid cannon. Now we're talking. 
Do we unleash the charge beam? Because we certainly could. Actually, there are so few cards in this deck, I might as well load up the charge beam a bit more. So, hold on. Scramble. Move here. Two, three, four, five. And then shield up. Fisting. That missed. I know we've used up plenty of strafing, but we should be fine. Disable this. Nice shot. We'll use charged beam at the very end. We absolutely have lethal. Draw shot. Charge beam. Away goes Mecha Riggs. The deck is so lean, the beam charges very quickly. It's another neat little win condition. Another little ace we have in our deck. 13 points out of 13. Clean exhaust A. W another one? We don't need a second one. Huh. Yeah, it's completely, absolutely superfluous. Backup stick. Make a temporary copy of your leftmost card. <sighs> Sounds tempting. It's going to be completely free with uh, the clean exhaust. I think we should take another ace. We need to get to it quickly. And if we activate a second ace, we gain two evades every single turn. And those evades and strafes become imme immensely powerful. Also, the card exhausts, so it doesn't really bloat our deck. Flywheel to gain energy when, oh goodness, when going through cards. Floor state to go through cards. Tri-dimensional cockpit. Permanently replace your cockpit with empty scaffolding. Lose half your max hole and pick up. You know, both of these are for drawing cards. They're absolutely amazing. At the same time, this is new. And the damage we receive when taken right on the cockpit is so immense. Every single time we take any amount of damage whatsoever to the cockpit, we flirt with death. So especially on higher difficulty levels, the tridimensional cockpit artifact is an absolute bloody blessing. So the fact that it adds to our collection is basically an excuse at this juncture. A boss artifact, a boss steel artifact. Look, I love the idea of thinking flow state of flywheel, but I think just as a matter of survival, instead of winning more, we should take the tridimensional cockpit. Granted, it's gonna cripple us in terms of max health, but what, we didn't need that? It's gonna make for some pretty awesome evades, because then we can possibly fit one attack in between the cannon and the wing. So tridimensional cock uh, cockpit it is. There we go. Of course the cockpit is three-dimensional. <laughs> it's just a... Uh, it's rather silly that we kind of operate in 2D space when fighting in space. But we are. Hacker voice. We're out. Clean exhaust. Strafe B. Stun souls. So what do we do here? Shield up. Draw up. Move away. I would say shield up. <laughs> and wait for the sweet release of death. Well, not exactly. Holes untouched. Oh my goodness. Check this out. Check this out. Ace. Into Ace. Get off the corrupted call. Get more evades. Pew. Shield up. Oh yeah, we don't have a cockpit. The damage is never going to be doubled. Oh, I could just dance around here. I'm tempted to. But let's treat that as a finisher, shall we? That's uh, four times two, which is eight. We're not anywhere near being able to finish this enemy off. So let's not bother trying. Oh, look, it's the beam. Not a scratch. 
Draw shot. Ah, it's the acid cannon. I would love to admin the admin deploying the acid cannon gets rid of the acid cannon. We don't want to get rid of the acid cannon. The acid cannon is awesome. Oh yeah, and this will just go through. We can just stay here. We're safe. We can just stay on the left side. Oh, this is so comforting. This is so awesome. Acid cannon. Hey, your ship is melting. Yes, it is. All right, all right. Ten evades. And the charge beam. Fine. So we unleash the charge beam. Draw this. Shoot that. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Two aces! Two aces! Acid cannon A! Acid cannon A! It just costs two! Selective memory. Just a card you don't draw, pal. Put it in your hand. Hmm. Like, say, an ace. Yeah, we might want to take selective memory. It exhausts! Acid cannon A isn't half bad, but too much of a good thing. Uh, am I seriously trying to argue that there's too much acid? No, 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 I think I can... Well, I can upgrade this to, to version A. Or, you know, I could just cut the other card. No, I think selective memory is gonna help us significantly more. Hmm. We don't need the space on. Selective memory for when I need a particular card. Ah, <sighs> more card cutting. By two. Or do we go for the elites over here? I don't think we go for the elites. I don't think we care about much of anything at this point. Elites don't boost us in any meaningful way. We might as well upgrade this ace to ace B to gain even more evades. Do, do we want to cut any cards? Mm, I guess the basic block is a bit too basic for my taste. Though the basic dodge is quite handy. We could upgrade that to basic dodge A and just make it completely free. Well, I could upgrade the draw shot over here. The world is my oyster. I can upgrade anything in any way I want. If I can play the stun saws completely free, dealing full points of damage along the way and stunning the thing in front of me might be the way to go. Yes, yeah, so those stun saws be not the worst of ideas. But same goes with the ace. No, 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 I think the responsible thing to do is to upgrade the ace. Hey! Sup, can I get you anything? Yes, I would like to upgrade this ace to ace B. Heck yeah! An adventure. Hello there, would you care to engage in some debate? Talk about the issues? Um... I've got nothing but time on my hands. We can do this over and over. Turn an upgrade B into an A. Gain an annoyance. Single use, one cost card. An upgrade B into an upgrade A. Have I mentioned that? Have I not mentioned that? Hold on. That was the last playthrough. Well, if I don't do it... Presumably I would have had the option to turn A into B as well. Uh, if I don't do it, I don't secure the annoyance. So I go through the event, but I never get the card into my collection. However, I'm doing too well, and there's absolutely no reason for me to switch. So no. Well, goodbye now. Yo! Hey! Can I get you anything? Yeah, I guess I would like to upgrade. Although I want to cut the basic block. Wouldn't be bad. You know, upgrading Scramble so it gives me two points of evade is pretty awesome. I'm going to be playing it over and over. Might as well, I guess. Upgrading the stun souls to stun immediately is also pretty nice. Upgrading admin deploy so that I can choose the card I want to play could be a lifesaver. Yeah, if I have admin deploy and one of those precious cards I desperately want to play and exhaust on the spot and for whatever reason I haven't actually secured clean exhaust 
My goodness, will that be a lifesaver. So yes, just to be on the safe side, instead of, uh, you know, messing with my deck and forcing this to be on the left side, how about instead, I just allow myself to choose a card. Hold on, choose a card in your hand, play it for free, without exhausting it. Huh. So I might as well pick Scramble or something, or Security System. Huh. Interesting. Fine. Admin Deploy B. Quite valuable. Wow, cool. Yeah, the upgrade is much more valuable than the baseline version. I know that's usually the case. I'm not actually sure how the cockpit thing works. Cat did all the math. It's... it's fine. It's fine. We're all fine. Okay, I've got Admin Deploy B, which I can use on Clean Exhaust, and then we can survive. Okay, so Admin Deploy B. Pick a card. Clean Exhaust. Play it for free. Stun Sword Acquired. And now, we skedaddle. First of all, scramble. And second of all, get more permanent shielding. Bye, Duncan. Give the drills a break. <laughs> You give them a break. Well, your drills. You know the drill. <sighs> what do I want? Anything from the draw deck? The draw deck that... Uh, the draw pile, actually. That would fancy? Oh, why, yes! Ace! Alright, selective memory. Give me an ace. And let's play the ace immediately. Uh, then, uh, acquire more evasion. Fine, draw me some cards. Keep charging the beam. Shield up. We move over here and use the acid cannon to stun this. Fi oh, hold on, hold on. I should have activated straight first. Yeah, whatever. Excellent. And now we have two aces. We'll just keep on generating those evades. Meta basically damage on a stick. Though they're not uh, stun on a stick, gotta remember that. I just stun once. Pew. Into admin deploy B to. Uh, yeah, admin deploy B to play anything for free. Like the acid cannon right now to apply. Admin deploy B is so awesome, so absolutely positively broken. <sighs> we can move in, move out, no problem. Charge beam. Oh, yeah. And that's nine. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I love it. Oh, enraged. Uh, well, <sighs> I'm kind of ambivalent about this one. We did pick it last time. We did die. <sighs> My goodness. Admin deploy B is so awesome. So awesome. Whereas admin deploy on its own is so finicky. You gotta upgrade it. Selective memory. Fleet foot. Could upgrade this. I'm skipping the rewards. Shield reserves or crosslink? Permanently gain plus two max shield. All crosslink. Every fifth time you attack, gain an evade. Whoa, Nelly. Not play an attack card, but just attack with crosslink. That's every move, right? Oh, so with five moves, gain another move. You know what? I think it's better to have more max shields. Energy refund or the right click. What? The leftmost card in your hand attack. The leftmost card in your hands attacks deals minus one damage. The rightmost card in your hands attacks deals plus one damage. 
Max, are you... <sighs> I'm supposed to take your junk, but... You know, the energy refund in principle sounds awesome, except for the fact that I want to play all these cards for free. So I'm going to take your stupid right click. Maybe the original reason we're enemies isn't important. Perhaps we're simply destined to destroy each other. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but like, get in the headspace, you know? Gator. Uh, so well, physically are we right now? Riggs. <sighs> It's not important, all right? Clean, exhaust. Ace B. And move out of the way to the left rather than to the right, for reasons that will become apparent very soon. It's expanding. An iron storm with Dylan! Dylan, you... Okay, let's not go into panic mode. Strafe or ace? Well, we already have an ace. We could take a stun source. I say strafe. Pew! Disabled. Get off the corrupted call. Shield and up. Shield up. Shield up! Going awfully fast here. Listen, Dizzy, I know what I'm doing, right? I've got the experience. Holes untouched. I've got the touch. I've got the power. Pew. If only this was a weak point, but alas, it isn't. Draw shot B deals more damage. Stun souls. That's gonna be awesome for the down the line. Basic dodge. Pew. Pew. Gosh. Pew. Well, there go my shields. All right, Gator. You're an instigator. Right click. You know, right click isn't half bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> Charge beam. I also had my strafes ready. Okay. Okay, this is a victory with Max. I'm feeling it. EMP to reset your shields to zero. Big shield to get more shields. Stun charge to desperately try and disable whatever's right in front of you. Stun charge sounds pretty nice. We're taking the stun charge. I know it kinda... Oh, hell no. So the cockpit is being held in quantum flux space? Genius! Everyone's just... Everyone's desperately trying to wrap their heads around the cockpit being... Gone, apparently. Come on, people. I guess I should be asking those questions myself. Alright, clean exhaust. For a moment, I, I thought I would I would get the, the admin thingy. Ace B. Strafe B. And that's about it, I would say. What was that? Don't you worry about a thing. Alright, draw shot. It's on the move. Back up, reverse! Stun charge. Pew. Disable that. Heh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, get off the corrupted call. And desperately shield them up. Oh, this is on the right. Of course it is. More damage, please. On target. Stun source for free. HP. Move here. Nice one. Admin deploy on the cannon. Scramble further to the side. 
Got him. We still have one evade. And that's almost gone. Charge beam. <laughs> Charged up and ready to go. Second opinion is B, but the match all root access. Draw one card of each color from the exhaust pile. What could I possibly want to unexhaust? The stun souls? An, an ace? Alright, I could unexhaust selective memories of strafe B from this color. From this color, clean exhaust, which is pointless. Although by that time, it's gonna be free anyway, so it doesn't matter. Hold on, if I get strafe B back, that... That means I'm gonna deal fall damage every time I move. That is completely broken. All the, well, yeah, that's kind of the point, isn't it? Yeah, but then again, this is gonna gunk up my hand every at every point in time before that actually becomes useful. So I'm not sure that's the way to go. It's completely broken, but it's a sort of a win more option. Unless, you know, the situation goes completely awry, in which case it's a lose right now situation. So I'm going to skip the rewards entirely. I don't need this. I don't want any of... Button mash has its uses, though. It's free! Once you, of course, play what you want to play. Eh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's actually quite useful, isn't it? Because then you play clean exhaust and you might just play button mash as the very first thing. I'll take it. Oh, of course! I get an artifact. The pistol or the ricochet paddle? Um, flipping missile sounds nice, but being able to pierce through the armor sounds much better. Pierce it is. Good afternoon. Is it? Can I get you anything? Do we want to cut the basic block or upgrade something? Upgrading draw shot seems wonderful. Attack for zero each time this card is drawn, add three. I say charging the beam faster is the way to go. I don't want to make this card replayable. I want to upgrade the charge beam so that it's fired once for a lot of damage. That's it, we'll cycle through it. All right, here it is. Bye, don't do anything I wouldn't do. No, we, had, we had a much more satisfying interaction last time. All right, here we go. Clean exhaust. Move to the side. Shield on up. Yeah. Let's do it. We're gonna take whole damage, we'll live. It's gonna take more than that to kill us. Yeah, yeah it is. Sun charge, ace B. What can we take and put in our hand that's gonna make our situation better? A uh, strafe would be pretty nice. Okay, how far can we go? We don't have the stupid cockpit, so we don't have to worry about that. This hole is gonna move here, then the, the four points of damage are still gonna be there. Unless we just move one to the side, yeah, at which point we just take two points of damage. Silly and irrelevant. Yeah, let's do that. All right. First of all, selective memory. We take the strafe. Oh, we could take the other ace. Now, strafe it is. Good work. We disable this. Okay, so that's one point. We play security system right here, right now. And basic block. Oh, the cockpit being missing is arguably the biggest, the best gift we could have possibly been given. Okay, so we are going to hang out over here. Disable these two by concussion. No damage, huh? And then, uh, possibly, and then place this where the cockpit would be. Get off trash, get off the corrupted call. HP, stun souls. No, oh, well, this is the leftmost card and the rightmost card, so I guess it's... Just a card. Gotham. Pew. Pew. 
That been deploy B, huh? Well, I'm not gonna deploy button mash. We don't need it. Maybe we shouldn't have taken it then. Three points. One, two, three. Okay, that's nice. Strafed. Apply corrosion. Please apply as much corrosion as you possibly can. We could also use the charge beam over here, but no. Let's keep charging the beam. Let's keep on drawing. Well, if I want to keep on drawing, I should just keep on drawing. Get rid of the trash. And damage goes in the hole. We gain two points of evade every single passing turn, so if you don't reposition too drastically, we're gonna be fine. One, two, three. Okay. All here. One, two, three. We retain one point. Yeah, one point of evasion. At which point we move, we move to the side. Okay, so we go here. Stun charge. Strafing field is pretty optimal. We should do this all the time. Button mash. Pew, pew, hey, good one. More evasion, please. And parking security system. Shields are gone. Just four points of damage headed our way. Not much. We have the charge beam at nine. Keep on charging. I say draw shot B. Just use right click. Yeah, uh, you know, we should have moved to the side. We could have disabled more points of damage coming our way. But I guess that's fine. Block shot. And recall. We are totally winning this. There's basically no way for us to lose. We have too good of a combination of stuff. Not a scratch. Pew. 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 Strafe on him. Yes. Okay, let's retain two points of evade. See what happens next turn. Get rid of the trash. Actually, move here to disable this. Draw shot. Scramble. Pew. 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 Pew! The cobalt goes down to straight B. You are growing stronger. Who shall it be th this time? M Max. I just want to let you know I have this whole loop thing figured out. You do not. How do you know? I can see every neuron in your brain at once. How? First memory of Max. T minus 83 days. Hey Isaac, come over to my terminal, huh? I'm kind of busy right now, what's up? Check it out, I added an AI to the ship computer. Cobalt Active Terminal V906, awaiting command. Cobalt Active Terminal, C stands for Cobalt. Not computer, Cobalt Active Terminal, cat. No, hold on, hold, this is much more meaningful than I make it out to be. I've been wondering about this. I've been asking myself, hold on, hold on, cat. The AI of which ship is cat? Because if cat is the native AI of the cobalt, that has profound implications. And lo and behold, that's the ship's AI. And that's probably the entity. 
Cobalt Active Terminal V906, awaiting command. Full system report. Invalid file name or command. Oh. Uh. So, you're piping the main command terminal through this hologram of a cat. That's a reductive way of saying it. But yes. I wouldn't really call that an AI. It's really cute, though. That's true. You know, when he puts it that way, that's really pathetic. <laughs> so yeah, there is no artificial intelligence attached to that whatsoever. He's just issuing commands to it directly. But that's not entirely true, though, is it? Not eventually. So something has happened to the... Hold on. Hold on. So maybe that's why all those interactions with Cat confuse Max so much. At which point... At which point has this project um, been improved upon? Was it just what happened because of the, the Cobble disaster? Or uh, was that just a bunch of improvements that Max has uh, added over time? I do not know. Either way, victory has been achieved. The first memory of Max has been unlocked. It's been an hour, 10 minutes, 30 seconds. 112 combat turns, well spent. 10 points of hull damage taken. <laughs> Significantly fewer once I've removed the stupid cockpit. <laughs> Uh, the ship was Artemis, the difficulty was the hardest one, and uh, that was the seed. Those were the cards, the few cards that I have decided to keep. I guess slimming the deck down to the bare necessities was a brilliant call. And of course I have managed to unlock quite a few synergies in the process, despite not fighting all too many elites. Which ultimately could have been my downfall otherwise. Those are all the artifacts, those are the cards. This is the progress that I have made. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get that, that card about arguing whatever. I didn't want to downgrade one of the cards that was in perfect tip-top shape. Just to, uh, you know, unlock another card that I'll get some other time. Either way, two more memories made for Max. Thank you all all so much for watching so far. And you will see me elsewhere.